Right, so today's job actually is probably going to take more than a, a day, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to be resealing the J rails. So these are the edging right through the caravan, all the way through, all the way down the bottom. And I'm effectively going to be doing the same type of seal that I have done with the windows. You can see here that I've used the silicon marine grade on these windows. So I'm going to be doing the same for the J rails. And you can see why. There's gaps here. And mold is starting to grow in there. So I'm pretty sure that it's starting to deteriorate to the point where it will spring a leak in the future and so that's that side and on this side you have same principle you've got these these gaps and here in particular where the annex goes that's where the other bit is of concern now I know that this has sprung a leak in the past uh, just because of the inside, I could tell there's a bit of damage there. So the idea is to remove one section at a time. So we're going to start with this side. And you can see how there's the joiners there. And that's kind of one piece that goes all the way to here. And then we've got this other piece and so on and so forth. So I'm going to be doing one piece at a time rather than taking all the jar rails out all together and then having a bit of a mess so it's going to be a long lengthy task isn't it and I've got my helper here mm -hmm. um, and we're just going to make the most of this beautiful sunny day okay so again what we'll do is take these off individually I don't think they're um, original some of these So that's what they look like. Old in grace. Yeah. And the thing about these J rails is that because they're a, sh a thin sheet of aluminium, when we're taking them out, we're going to have to be extremely careful we don't damage them. So, so that's that's the process. These that's ones here have got a separate Phillips head screw, which is not the originals. So there's the um, five there, but in addition to that, looks like it's been, where are we, here, pop riveted in, you can see it there, so I'm going to have to drill those, those pop rivets off, never straightforward. So these Phillips heads that, that I was talking to you about just a moment ago are that. Is it in focus? It sort of is, but that, okay, so that, that is really rusty. Th it has been rusted in, and unfortunately, it's one of those things where it's going to take a bit of time. Yep. <laughs> That's trying to loosen it. It is very, very stubborn. There's my helper, it's trying to remove all the rust, aren't you? Yep, that should be done. Alright, taking out the last one of these. That was a pain. We had to really bash it through. But you can see over here, now, that's now we're taking it out. We've just got to be very gentle when we remove this, that we don't bend it. And I also had to use this. To scrape some yep. of the paint off. You Under see that paint? Alessandro, over here. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, so up here. Come closer. So that way they can see what we're talking about. And so here we're taking this out gently. Up here. Up here. And this is the corner we talked about before. And there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you yeah. going to do now? We're going to clean this up. But... And then put it back on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. Now this is what I was talking about, the mastic being old and hard. That is so hard in fact, that I can't hardly even peel it off. I did. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a good example of something. You can see that. It's just, again, just like with the windows. No, I just peel it off again. Just like with the windows here, it's all gone there, hard as. 
it's not that hard. I'm gonna have to do a bit of cleaning. So it's not just the jar, the jar rail cleaning, but also having a look under here. Gives me an opportunity to look at the condition of the chassis wow. and it looks looks quite good. I'll give it a good clean up. Perfect. As I said, we'll do one at a time. Got to clean all that up. Alessandro, careful of the jar rail. You're, stop, you're on it. Um, likewise here. Got to take all this out, clean it all up. Hard as rock. No surprises if it was leaking at all. So this would be good. It justifies the hard work to get this all done. Right, next step is to clean it. Let's take a closer look. Uh, there you go, it's just got to do that. Oh, Pringles, yeah. nice. Hey, even the stuff that's down the bottom here is quite, quite hard. Ooh. So there you go, that's, that's what I mean. It's a bit softer here. Mm -hmm. Just like with our fishing trips. Well, just a bit of a quick pro uh, progress. So I'm starting to clean these. Obviously I need to apply the wire brush to that. But for those who haven't seen inside, there we go. That's what she looks like. There's a alloy frame. Interestingly, there is this piece of timber just here on the bottom. Just there. Seems to be okay. But there you go. That's the way. <laughs> so we're just trying to get that nice clean finish on hey, both Dad, sides. Was, yeah. What are you going to do with this one? I'm going to use that one as well, but that one's very, that's not for you. I know. Okay. I can tell that. Now we continue on. Right. All cleaned up. Trying to take as much mastic as possible out. Clean this up. So basically now I need to make sure that I position it right and the next step is to clean the actual J rail itself. So final final prep work on this, I'm trying to make it fit nice and snug again and what I've done here is I've put um, rust converter on there, linseed oil on the timber there, I'm not sure if it's going to do much but Anyway, uh, there, there was the that's the bit that I added when I um, fixed up the rear wall there. But anyway, it's all pretty much ready to to put in place. I've got the Sikaflex Marine adhesive, so that's going to do the job. And what I want to try to do is squeeze as much adhesive in, in the middle there when I apply it. So not only does it have, an, have adhesive on the edges here, but it also seeps into the into the join there itself. So I've now I've applied the, the Sikaflex on the edges there. I'm not applying as much because I'm a bit concerned about the amount of mess. So what I'm going to do is I know that that's going to cover and then I'll need to apply some more later on. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way down to, through to the bottom. Okay, so I've put the Sika Flex in. Sorry about it. I couldn't show you too much because I needed both hands to do that. But and not to show you, I'm, I'm yet to clean this. But down here, I don't know if you can see that, huge amounts of gap in the, um, in the Sika Flex. So I had to put quite a bit in there. 
and likewise for down these areas here where there was a lot of gap there so I'll go ahead now and clean it with turps and this um, this will be done so all cleaned up now you can see the bit, bit of silicon there got to clean this one up here but you can see how that's covering all the gaps and there was a particular section here down here I think I was showing before which is particularly bad down here as well and see how it's all covered now that ain't going to leak and compare that to the other side where we've got these gaps there and this is actually quite a quite a good side you've got those you can see how they had to use quite a lot of mastic there as well to cover these high areas there but at any rate like i said beforehand we want a nice full seal and that is what i've got to do for the entire caravan so this has taken me a couple of hours just to do one little section so yeah, this will be quite a few days in the making to do the entire j rail on both sides and i'm just gonna to have to pace myself out to do this i thought i'd film this bit this is the front and you can see this mastic here is actually looks relatively newish it's actually quite pliable and it's what you expect mastic to be so this front section where the window is has been applied but you can see the contrast between the new stuff which is a nice gray color and the old stuff which is this dried out black stuff now why would anybody go halfway and just put mastic on the top part here and not and not try to do the whole lot is beyond me but anyway this is the kind of surprises that you get when you're fixing up an old caravan right i just thought i'll show you this here again we've got a, a mixture of uh, old and new mastic there so obviously someone has tried to do the right thing and and seal this up just recently recently meaning you know probably the last five or so years and i'll just show you further up into the roof area and so this is what i've got uh, yesterday i cleaned the caravan i actually used a carcher on there and you could see here that clearly the water has actually still seeped through into the into the uh, bolt holes or screw holes so again it wasn't effective all right i've gone the extra mile here with the cleanup because i want to be absolutely sure that this is as clean as it's going to get and you can see here i've even gone down to the past the paint level here so it's all nice and clean and the way to, to do this i had to use a um an angle grinder with with a wire wheel effectively and just be very gentle because the wire wheel can take off rip out aluminium in no time so but at any rate that's pretty good now and i've gone all the way down through to the other side right so now to um look at the angle line over there the j rail and doing the usual flexing it up and putting it on okay so the roof is done i haven't been so concerned about the amount of silicon i put on there i just wanted to make sure that it was covered of course underneath here it's quite neat you can see hard to see i know with a shadow but basically that's what it looks like and same on the other side obviously
so I suspected I mean it's taken me uh, all day and I'm still yet to do that part of the J rail so yeah a good day if you were to start early and uh, finish you know to finish one side and of course down the bottom here is the end result for that so you can see no gaps Anyway, um, it'll be waterproof for the next, I don't know, 30 years. <laughs> anyway, as always, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about this process, just um, fire away. Thank you.